Hi, my name is TJ Palazzolo. I'm a member of the Server Technologies Curriculum Group at Oracle. My job is to teach people about Oracle products and technologies. In this session, we're going to learn about Oracle's Cloud Application Foundation. The Cloud Application Foundation consists of two main technologies, application servers and cache servers. These components fall between your clients and your databases, and for that reason, they're called middleware. First, let's learn about application servers. Let's say you just moved to a new area and you need a place to live. One option is for you to build a whole new house from scratch. And your new house is going to need a collection of different services like water and electricity and the internet and maybe even a security system. Similarly, let's say you're a programmer who needs to build a new application. Maybe this is an application for human resources, or it's an online store, or a trading system. Similar to building a house, if you created this whole application from scratch, there are several potential complications. First, you'd have to write the code to handle all of the low-level incoming and outgoing network protocols. For a website, that would mean HTTP and HTTPS. Your new application likely also needs to connect and talk to one or more databases. So you'll have to have some SQL knowledge so that your app can actually get data and update data in these databases. Similarly, you'll have to write code to ensure data integrity. That means that if your code fails, your databases aren't left with incomplete or bad data. And don't forget about security. You'll need to verify a user's identity and then make sure that they're authorized to do the requested feature. Now let's go back to our house example. Sure, you could put in all of the required plumbing and wiring yourself, but that's going to mean a lot of learning on your part, a lot more opportunities for errors, and it's definitely going to delay the completion of your home. Instead, consider an apartment building. None of the tenants in an apartment building need to create the necessary infrastructure to access water, sewer, electricity, the internet, or security. Why? Because it's already there. And none of the tenants care about how this infrastructure got there, only that it works and it's reliable. An application server like Oracle WebLogic Server works in much the same way as the apartment building. WebLogic Server supports client protocols like HTTP and SOAP, and also provides other services like database access and persistence and transactions for data integrity and security. So a developer can just concentrate on the interface and the business logic of their application, like letting employees view their paycheck stubs, for example, and let WebLogic take care of the rest. Let's revisit our multi-tier architecture once again. Next, we'll learn about another middleware component, the data cache. So we're back at our apartment building example. Suppose that every time someone in this building wants to borrow and watch a movie, they drive back and forth to a video store that's located on the other side of town. If they want to watch a movie every day, this driving takes up a lot of time. And this is time that could be used to do something more important, like actually watching the movie. Alternatively, let's say the same apartment complex had its own digital video library with all the most popular movies that all the tenants could share at the same time. This approach eliminates the need to drive somewhere every time you want to watch a movie. 
A distributed cache like Oracle Coherence offers the same kind of benefits as our convenient shared video library. For example, consider a suite of human resource applications running on WebLogic, all of which need access to employee data. Sure, each application could retrieve this data from a database each time it was needed, but a more efficient approach would be to instead cache the employee profiles in memory, since retrieving data in memory is much faster than retrieving it from a database. Distributed caching offers the same benefits to other types of shared data. Perhaps there are several applications that work with stock quotes. Calculating stock prices is an expensive operation, and there's no need for every application to recalculate the values every time they're needed. Once again, a central in-memory cache like Coherence can offer a more efficient solution. Next, we'll address the issue of scalability, which is the idea that you can easily distribute a software system across machines without redesigning the system or modifying your code. Suppose we have a single instance of WebLogic server that's hosting our application, along with a single instance of coherence. Both WebLogic and coherence support clustering technologies so that you can quickly and seamlessly scale up or down your system as performance requirements change. These clusters also avoid a single point of failure. In addition, WebLogic and Coherence clusters can be scaled independently of one another. Some types of applications may require more computing power, and others may require more memory as they're scaled up. WebLogic and Coherence are the main pillars of Oracle's Cloud Application Foundation. This means that they form the backbone of all of Oracle's leading edge products. This includes general purpose middleware solutions like service-oriented architecture, identity management, data integration, and enterprise management. And also includes business solutions like human capital management, customer relationship management, supply chain management, and financials. And it's even the engine behind Oracle's new cloud computing solutions, such as infrastructure as a service. So if this foundation is good enough to run Oracle's entire portfolio of products, then it's certainly good enough to run your own custom applications as well. If you want to learn more about Oracle products or their underlying technologies, be sure to visit us online at the Oracle Learning Library.